I got it on my Kindle to read. So so that you can make the font bigger. So I can so make the font you can bigger. Have the, yes. The easy comfort font. The easy comfort. That's, font, that's yeah. I can't believe that you would actually admit to that. Well, but the wonderful thing is, I love this notion of Don with my book and like a smoking jacket next to the fire, <laughs> like a, a brand Don't forget snipper. his Merlot. My Merlot. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, I'm working on some uh, Chateau Saint Michel right now. Welcome to this episode of Simply Radio. I am Pia, sitting in for Mike Shelton. Uh, with us tonight is owner and webmaster of Simply Script, Don Boos, and Michael Conetto. Our guest tonight is author Jason, Jason Henderson, uh, whose uh, latest book is Alex Van Helsing, Vampire Rising, and is published by HarperCollins. Uh, welcome to our little show. Hey, thank you for having me. Uh, after Michael told me that I was going to be the host, I thought I better look you up, you know, and I went like, wow, you, you <laughs> actually done quite a lot, so, and I'm impressed. So please tell us about yourself, how you got started, and finally get your foot in the door, so to speak. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. What I will do is, uh, gosh, I've been writing a lot of stuff, so I'll skip from the beginning sort of to the end. So... I don't know. I've always considered myself a, a professional writer who just did all kinds of things. So I've written comic books and I've written computer games. Uh, I, I, after I got out of law school, I, I was completely unemployable as a lawyer because I've been writing novels or trying to. And so I worked in the computer game industry for about 10 years as a writer. And, um, what, uh, ended up ha- uh, happening is that this is my debut, this book that you're talking about, Alex Van Helsing, is my debut as a writer of young adult novels. And the way that came about is that I had not attempted to write a novel in about 10 years. And a friend of mine from high school who was an agent in New York um, called me up and said, hey, I, I hear that you write, you know, let's pitch something together. And I was like, ah, you know, I, I don't know if I can do that. I, I, can, I don't know if I could do a whole book. And he's like, no. And, and I took about a year to actually get back to him. And finally I said, uh, uh, okay, all right, all right. Let's pitch something in, you know, about teenage vampire hunters. And he, and he says, great. And the moment we actually started working together, we put together a pitch. Uh, I used some of the backstory from the comic books that I had been writing, uh, some of the same characters and, and, uh, you know, would show up between the comics and the novels. Came up with an all new novel where you wouldn't have to know about that stuff, but it used a lot of that same world. And, uh, it immediately got picked up by Harper Collins. It was just that quickly. I mean, we started pitching it in January and, we we finally had a deal in place. I mean, it may have taken three or four months, but it it uh, it it worked really fast. That that's still pretty impressive. I mean, we have, for example, um, one of our well, mo- he's actually a moderator, and I was hoping that he would be on tonight, but I guess he's busy, you know, being it being Saturday night and all that. Uh, <laughs> his name is George Wilson, and he he also writes uh, he writes screenplays and he writes uh, novels as well. Mm. Um, and his question to you was, if he could not be on the show, is that. Uh, how did you get Harper Collins to sign you? I mean, yeah. it's pretty hard. I mean, they just, I mean, they, uh, I mean, the best you can do is just send them a query. I mean, did they <laughs> just love your logline or synopsis or what? What we pitched with. Uh, so if, if you want to, uh, the funny thing is I actually go around and do a whole presentation on how to launch a young adult series from, from, uh, shelf to, to, I mean, from pitch to shelves. That's literally a PowerPoint presentation that I've given now, you know, at, at things like, you know, trade shows and, and schools and, and what have you. So uh, there is a technique to that. But in this case, um, uh, we put together a pitch document, which was literally uh, like a, it had a log line, just like you would have for a screenplay. Mm-hmm. And then it had... Um, a treatment, literally like you would write, not for a movie, but more like what you would write for a TV series. It was a treatment that ran about 15 pages. I mean, it literally went through the mood, it went through the potential marketing, it went through um, 
you know, bio stuff about me, everything that I had done, you know, because there with your stuff about yourself, you're just trying to prove that you're uh, going to be reliable, that if they sign a book with you, you'll turn it in. Yeah. Okay, so it, 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 didn't really ha- it didn't really have anything to do, like, with you having any special connections or anything like that? Well, I had an agent, so I wasn't coming out of, uh, it wasn't a cold call or anything. Um, I think uh, if if I didn't have an agent, you'd probably have to start with a query. Uh, but it, but in this case, I did have a, a book agent who uh, had at least the ability to send uh, to send the treatment to Harper Collins. He may well have started with the query, by the way. I, I, I that I don't know about. Okay. Uh, no. what, um, can I? I'm sorry, Pete. Can I jump in? What, yeah, sure. Say, <laughs> sorry. What is a query? Yeah, I, I. By the way, I love this nuts and bolts stuff. So the more, the more oh yeah, me too. If you guys want to, yeah, if you guys want to talk about this, I, I, I love getting into you know like how stuff gets pitched, how it gets sold, how it changed. We went through two entire pitches for this, but a query in the universe of books, you know, can have a lot of formats. But very simply, it's a short letter, and and I stress short. It'll have a usually. You know, they all look the same. Um, they get straight to the point. Uh, I or my my client is X, and the book that we're pitching is called Y, and it's about Z, and in it, oh. and then you have essentially a logline kind of description. You know, a, a uh, an unhappy businessman in Nazi Germany decides he's going to employ every Jew and and stop from be, uh, any weapons from being made. You know, that, that's that's the story of Schindler's List. I mean, that, you know, and, and you try to get it into like one little paragraph. And then, uh, if you like the nuts and bolts things, and I, pro- I think that uh, the people at Simply Script that listen to these things, they, would, I think, their question would be, well, how did you get the agent? Because that's a big problem for people that write screenplays. You know, how do you even get an agent? Well, now I don't. And, and interestingly enough, I mean, I don't have an agent in screenplays. So, for instance, uh, I, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> for when it comes to. But I would like, assume that it's kind of similar, maybe. Yes, it would be. Uh, so the first time around that I had an agent, I had an agent a number of years ago when I wanted to get into writing books before, um, because I, I should step back and say that I made an attempt at writing books when I was a lot younger, and I just sort of lost interest in it pretty quickly, so the, the career didn't really, uh, didn't really go anywhere, because I got into games instead. But when I first started out, I uh, sold my first two books literally on spec. I mean, they were literally the way that somebody might write a screenplay, you know, just saying, hey, I got a great idea about a giant monster in Venice, and write it and send it out, and and somebody published my little fantasy novels, you know, and and that was that was kind of cool. And then having made a sale, however humble, I then was able to, uh, call a couple of agencies and say, uh, listen, I made a sale. Um, would you guys like to rep my next stuff? And, and that was literally how, how it went is I already had some work. I mean, look, this is the oldest story in the book is that you really need an agent to get a good job. But a lot of times you need to have at least an okay job to have, to get an agent in the yeah. first place. It's terribly true. Wow. Okay. Uh, w- uh, since you have written, you have written novels. You've written uh, uh, comedy. I, I mean, comic books and uh, games. Uh, which one uh, do you prefer, and what's the difference in writing the the different medias? <coughs> well, um, you know, it, it, it's funny. I get to think about this a lot here because, for instance, with Alex Van Helsing, not only am I writing um, novels and also going back and writing comics at the same time, but sometimes they're about some of the same characters because. The Alex Van Helsing books, even though the people who read them don't necessarily know this, they're in the same universe as the sort of Dracula comic book that I write. And so it gives me a chance to really compare those two. Uh, the difference is with, with comic books, um, you write a script. I mean, it literally feels like a, uh, uh, like a script for a, for a TV series. Yeah. Like and, I'm doing, hmm? and, this, and Jason, this, this is why the, the, one of the main reasons why I pushed so hard to have you on this, because I, I, I'm really curious about the comic book scripting. Not not to to, yes. to to derail your train of thought here, but 